Patty wanted to stop the pain of her headache and neck ache. She wasn't one to take medicine and she was getting regular chiropractic adjustments, but nothing she was doing seemed to be helping. And then she listened to a divine love transmission that we had created. And before she knew it, the pain was gone. We adjusted her energy and her pain went away. Shannon was suffering from emotional heartache. She was on the front end of a divorce and everything in her life was about to change. She was doing her best to take care of her boys and keep her life in order. But the challenge was that heartache rang through everything that she was doing. And then Shannon listened to a divine love transmission and she was able to not only adjust her energy, but calm her mind and bring her vibration back up to a place of peace and love. Hi everybody, my name is Jan Luther and I'm a master energy healer. And one thing I know about the law of attraction is that it works, however, the thing that has to change and shift for us is vibrational, it's energetic. We can change our mind, we can affirm all that we want, but if we're not able to raise our vibration, change our frequency to get into a place where we can attract what we want, we can wish and want all day long and nothing will change. The way the divine love transmissions work is I raise my frequency to a love vibration. And then those who are participating with me raise their vibration as well. And when we do that, the universal knowledge and wisdom of love brings you to the vibration of what you need. We have so many testimonies of people who have listened to the divine love transmission with an open heart and an open mind, believing that it's possible for them to have whatever their dream is. And more often than not, they don't even know what their real heart yearning is until it shows up for them. For example, Susan, who is also at the front end of a divorce and there's so much going on in her life. And she knows that she needs to find employment, but that wasn't really on the front part of her mind. And when she listened to the divine love transmission, within 24 hours, someone had reached out to her, offering her an opportunity to work for them. And as she read the email, at first she kind of resisted, thinking, well, this isn't really the time. I've got so much that has to be in order first. But they pressed her to apply. And when she did, she realized it was everything she could have hoped for. It was the right hours. It was the right pay. It was flexible. She could work through the processing of her divorce and her life change. Because the love inside of her matched the vibration of the divine love transmission. And it really brought to her what she was most yearning for in the moment. Now, maybe you're concerned that you won't have any magical miracle come forth from listening to the Divine Love Transmission. And that's okay. I don't promise anything. But this I do know. You will feel better. Your environment will change. And isn't that what we're trying to do when we're trying to use the Law of Attraction? We're trying to change the atmosphere around us. And when you play these Divine Love Transmissions, you have them forever. And the beauty is, each time you listen to it, you might be at a higher vibration. I hope you are. But love knows right where you are, so it will match you there. And each time you listen, each time you expand your heart, each time you're open to more of what God and universe want to bring to you, the universe will meet you where you are. So it's like having multiple sessions, multiple healing opportunities, for the rest of your life. So let's look at what this divine love transmission entails. What we wanted to do was I wanted to change the water in your body. We know that we're all 60, 70, 80, so I'm saying 90% of our body is water. And I knew if we could change the vibration in your water, in your body, that your whole vibration would raise. And so the first thing we did was clear curses, clear thought forms, clear negative energies, scramble any destructive patterns, and then we replace them with love and light and prosperity and joy. And then we did the same for a gallon of water, and we actually treated water. So make sure you bring water with you when you do this. And that water can then be something that you're consuming throughout the day. And you'll hear on a couple of the testimonies that people have had great results, not only from drinking the water, but from using it in a variety of ways. The testimonies are fantastic. 
And then of course the beauty is, as you continue to raise your vibration, it kind of creates a set point for you. And each time you heal, each time you release, each time you let go, which always sounds so easy, right? But if we're not addressing it from the energetic side, it's very difficult. We have to work from the mind and we have to make it happen. Whereas when we do it from the energy system, we co-create, we partner with divine source. So the next thing we did with this particular recording is I wanted to clear toxins and chemicals and anything in your food. So if you're playing this in your environment, around your home or on your phone when you're getting ready to go to eat, we can know that that food has been blessed, anointed, encoded, if you will, with a higher vibration than perhaps whatever has touched it or it has touched on its process on the way to your plate. I would love your testimonials and feedback. We're getting them every day and they're just heartwarming to me how God is working and making healing happen through these divine love transmissions. 